our tour is going to be divided into two sections. Our first section is going to be introducing you to staff and our current temporary site. And then the next section is going to be introducing the new school that they'll be moving into in the fall. All right, in the front office, that is Tasha Henning. She is our amazing school secretary. There's the health room that we're walking past. Oh, and there's Mr. Scott. He is our fearless leader. All right, and then we're going to see our school counselor, Mandy. And then we're walking past our speech therapist in the ELL room. And Jerry, there he is. He is our building behavior support person. And here's the library with Miss Katie in it. All right, now we're going to meet our kindergarten and first grade teachers. This is Nancy. She is an amazing kindergarten teacher. She's actually taught for many years and is an exceptional teacher. You can tell that she's still setting up her classroom. This was filmed back in um, August. All right, and then we're going to go into Miss Sarah's room. She is our other kindergarten teacher once again. Um, she's worked here for, for many years. She's an incredible teacher. Um, they're just an amazing kindergarten team that really work well together. This would be our special education classroom. All right, and now we're going to go to our first grade teachers. So both our first grade teachers are new this year, but they are not new to teaching. There's Miss Kroll in her classroom. And this is Miss Brex. Oh, there she is. She's waving. They are an amazing first grade teaching team. Um, really do a good job of helping our first graders learning to read. All right, in our second and third grade, there's Miss Heinrichs. She's one of our second grade teachers. Um, both her and Miss Hood work really closely together. Ugh, isn't her classroom great? Um, they collaborate. Really, all of our teams collaborate really closely together to make sure kids um, are learning and growing on the same pace. And there's Miss Hood in Miss Hood's classroom. Um, you can tell that super, super organized. Um, and really, our second grade group has um, done an amazing job this year so far. And there's Miss Janine in her classroom. Our third grade class is um, the biggest, and you can see that with um, COVID protocols, she's keeping the, the spacing and doing really pretty amazing work in there. And this is Miss Ann and her student teacher, Carrie. Still getting set up, but they are just a, a pretty awesome team as well. I really have enjoyed seeing our kids learning and growing. Um, in the second and third grade. All right, and the fourth and fifth grade are located out in the portables, once again, in our temporary site. Um, this group of teachers really works closely together to get our kids ready for middle school. So this is Mr. Matt's room, waiting there. You can tell that their seating is definitely different. They get a little more flexible in the upper grades. And this is Miss Laura. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Once again, super pretty flexible seating compared to our earlier grades. And this is Miss Alicia. And then our last teacher is Mr. Connor waving by his door. Um, yeah. So you can tell that our fourth and fifth grade classes look a little bit different. In the new building, they'll still be able to work really closely. This coming fall, we will be moving into the new Edison building. We want to thank the Eugene voters that supported the school bond in November 2018, which made this building possible. The design team had a unique task of creating a modern school that also incorporated sentimental items from the original 1926 school building. Edison has been an important part of the South Eugene neighborhood, and this new design was made to fit right in. When it was demolished, it was the oldest building in 4J. In addition to housing Edison Elementary's K through 5th grades, there will be additional space made for an early childhood center. Now let's begin the tour. The front of the building incorporates an entry arch that is a nod to the original building. This will be the part of the school that the students will start their day. You can see that there is ample bike parking and lots of meeting space. We are incredibly grateful that almost all of the trees from the old building have made it through the construction process. From the back of the building, you can see the large play field 
to the right near that large tree, we will have an amazing playground and swing set. The new building design also includes a covered play area and additional paved play areas. Back to the front of the building, you will see the salvaged items from the original building. The lights in the entryway were part of the original building. There will be a little free library on the right side of the building and a salvaged cupola. The original Edison sign will also be on the right side of the building as seen in the right picture. Now for the inside of the building, this is the initial entryway. Through that window, you will have the Family Resource Center for food and clothes and even a washer and a dryer. On the landing of the stairway, you can see the sketches of the original building's cupola. Directly behind you in the picture is the front office. This building design is a very open concept. In the cafeteria straight ahead, you can see the entryway. Directly behind me is a beautiful wall of windows that overlooks a playground. Down the hall to your right will be the gym, and to the left is a hall leading to early childhood center, kindergarten, and first grade classrooms. Directly above the cafeteria on the second floor is the media center. Once again, you can see this is very open concept with a wall of windows that overlook the playground. Now to take a look at a classroom. All the classrooms are rather large and equipped with a primary teaching wall and secondary teaching areas for small groups. This is an example of a classroom. Each room, depending upon grade level, current unit, time of year, and class size, will vary significantly. Each classroom has lots of storage and several whiteboards as well as a sink. As you can see in this above perspective, you can see the front of the building, the covered play space, the playground, and the play field. The downstairs blueprint shows you the large gym in red, the family resource center, cafeteria, and office in light blue. The early learning center, kindergarten, and first grade classrooms are all in yellow. The upstairs blueprint allows you to see the media center in green, the second and third and fourth and fifth grade classrooms in yellow, and a tremendous music room in purple. The construction is going well and they are expecting an early summer move-in. We look forward to seeing you in the fall in this lovely new building.